Hello everyone, thank you so much for being here. So today we're going to be doing a video all about your signs and synchronicities when your person is coming in, your soulmate, your partner, your future partner. So let's get started. We have group number one, group number two, group number three, group number four and number five. So choose your group and let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what signs and synchronicities are coming in for you guys. I also have some extra cards here as well. So starting off with the main energy for you guys, we have the temperance. So temperance is all about balance. He's about patience, about uh, rejuvenation, vitality, that sort of thing. So Let's see what else we have. We have Maladala and we also have Peter. So hopefully I pronounced those right. So I definitely feel like for you guys, it's definitely about duality. It's about coming into your own, about coming into a much more balanced place. So it's funny how we got the masculine and the feminine, uh, masculine and feminine, and then we have the masculine and feminine here kind of coming in to join up and basically this is going to be a massive synchronicity when your person comes in we also have the number 14 as well so maladala is uh the root chakra it's about the energy of manifestation like physical manifestation so like money and groundedness so you're going to feel very grounded your money's probably going to be popping when you meet this person it's going to be really really good you're going to be in a very balanced place i feel like the the angels are really around you right now and with Peter, I'm going to look and see uh, what that's all about. We're going to just clarify that. So I'm just going to grab my book here and I'm just going to look. So Peter is 33. So you could be, uh, the number 33 could also be very significant for you. So, oh, I like this. So this is the fiery dosha, powerful, strong-willed and feisty. Fire and water are the most powerful elements, which is so funny because we have fire and water here. Fire and water are the most powerful elements that can create and destroy anything. Together, they create Peter, which is empowering you today. You are in a determined place in your life. You know what you want and a fire has been set under your seat to achieve it. You are setting goals for yourself and focused on the task at hand. Perhaps this is a time to emerge as a leader and teach others your strength and wisdom. You are transforming the world with your actions. Just don't lose connection with the water within you and remember to play. So the reverse of this is, has the fire you are fueled by it burned now? When Peter is upside down, chances are your fire has been depleted. So basically, if, you, if you've been kind of been caught up in day-to-day -day things, if life hasn't been going your way, it's basically coming into balance and remembering to give yourself back your own energy. Because it's, it's basically saying if you're feeling anger agitation and impatience it could mean that you need to go with the flow more okay so um it says ease and grace are your mantras and calling fruit and vegetables are your medicine so maybe kind of changing up your diet as well is going to really manifest this person coming in because you're becoming a much help much healthier version of yourself and if you're a gemini i feel like you're learning to balance both sides of you as well i know gemini's can be um people who can uh, think a lot and kind of really not be that grounded. Uh, obviously not everyone, but a lot of you guys do suffer with kind of being very ungrounded. So really learn to get grounded within yourself and temperance is really coming in and you're gonna be so grounded when you meet this person. You're gonna be, you're gonna know that this is the right person. So let's see what else we have. We have Flamingo, uh, Unity Heart, you are being called on to work on collective healing. So that was in the reverse. So I feel like it might be best for you to kind of work on your own healing. Um, I feel like collective healing, if that's something you want to do, then that's something that is obviously there for you. Um, but yeah, I feel like working on your own healing is going to be very important for you. So we have the peacock feather. Inherent wisdom is emerging at this time. Watch it and ready yourself for a rebirth. Wow, absolutely beautiful. I love this feather as well. How gorgeous is that? So pretty. And then we also have the moon. We have Quincunx, Complexity, and Taurus. Very much grounded energy. You're probably manifesting a Taurus as well. You're coming into much more of a physical manifestation. You're manifesting a lot of physical abundance. So you're going to be very physically abundant when you meet this person. Your emotions are going to be key because you're going to be concentrating on them. And you're going to be constantly kind of thinking, okay, is this the right thing? And you're going to be in a very healthy way. That You're going to be um, very much observing your emotions rather than going too deeply into them. And you're going to be really just acknowledging your feelings and feeling very, very balanced within yourself is going to be very, very important as well. 
And Maladala, I feel like is just really important in terms of your home. So you may be moving house, you may be sorting out your house, you may be clearing out a lot of clutter, um, kind of just preparing, you're preparing for this person almost, you know when birds nest, like they're nesting or when, um, when a mother nests almost for their baby, you know, and they prepare kind of like clothing and things and that's called nesting. I feel like you're doing this for this person. So you might be kind of creating space physically for them as well. So that's them manifesting this person to come in. So let's get a couple of dice and let's see what other information we need from this. So another sign, definitely number three, your Venus is going to be very much in balance. So very um, nurturing, very um, emotionally stable. So Libra is obviously about relationships and Jupiter is about expansion. So massive expansion in your relationships. Communication, very, very strong. And communication, I'm pretty sure the third house is ruled by Gemini. Forgive me if I'm wrong. But definitely possibly a Gemini or Libra coming in as well. But you also have just a lot of genuine communication. So I feel like that's just very, very strong for you guys. And let's get a dice. Number one, yeah, brand new start. So looking out for the number one and let's get one more card for you guys. I feel like definitely becoming balanced in yourself is really important and to, yeah, we have clean it up. Yeah, definitely clearing out the clutter. So focusing on the here and now, you guys are definitely going through a massive rebirth. So be very, very kind to yourself. I really feel like just being in the moment is gonna really manifest this person and a massive sign for you guys is, is you're just going to be living each day as it comes and you're going to be much more balanced and Taurus is about the home as well so there's definitely a lot of home energy you could actually be buying tapestries or wall wall um like paintings I feel like you might be buying like a mandala type thing on your wall um I really love this image it's really beautiful and oh great uh I love this image it's really beautiful and um lots of manifestations I do feel like you're bringing in some like um, angelic sort of statues or something in your house I'm seeing like statues in your house like you're buying home decor you might be buying like more cushions and things just kind of making more of a home for yourself you could even be physically moving house therefore you might need to buy some new furniture and things like that so thank you so much for watching group number one I really hope you enjoyed this reading and if you would like to please like and subscribe I have my uh, private readings linked down below and also my Etsy shop so thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. So let's have a look and see what signs and synchronicities are coming in for you guys with your future partner or your partner that you're possibly thinking about. Uh, alrighty, so we have the King of Swords reverse. Nope, upright. Okay, so someone who's very, very assertive. Someone who will really command a room. So this is going to be somebody... The synchronicity around this is basically the animals I feel like in the image as well. So we have an owl, we have a bat, we have a crow, we have a, a dragonfly. So massive amount of transformation. You're gonna feel like you have more space as well. You're gonna feel like you're clearing out more space. You're gonna be able to communicate easier as well. Communication is gonna be much more, just, just easier for you. You're gonna feel like you can really talk about how you feel. Um, You could be manifesting a king of swords as well who is uh, an air sign so gemini libra or aquarius or they could just have that energy or they could have that in their rising as well so the other cards we have we have uh lakshmi and we also have atman so i'm gonna have a look in the book for these ones because i do sometimes forget these ones so let's have a look at lakshmi first so Lakshmi 101 so 101 <clears throat> could be very significant for you the film 101 Dalmatians could be quite significant for you as well but just the number 101 it could be like your door number could be your future door number with your person uh things like that and so this card represents goddess of abundance fortune and beauty so this is the energy of like blessings coming in for you and financial abundance so this is showing you, it says she has recognised your generosity and rewards you in her ways, whether it's financial abundance, radiant health, loving partnership, a comfortable home, good fortune or impregnation you are seeking. Continue to give freely and loving and so will she. So basically the opposite of this is saying when you feel like you're not enough, you will not have enough. It's basically saying that you need to tell yourself that you're worthy and not to tell yourself 
uh, negative things. So I feel like there's so much going on in these cards. I feel like there's so much energy being transmitted. So I feel like you guys are going to feel really fueled. I think you're going to be very, very happy with where you're at. And you're going to feel very sustained. You're going to feel like this is the right person. And it's going to feel very, very genuine. Um, so the next number is 25. So this is the um, Atman. Okay, so this is number 25. So five and two could be very significant. But also the number seven could also be very significant as well. And this is saying it's an infinite aspect of your soul. So it's basically saying that meditation is going to really bring in a lot of energy for this. So your third eye could be opening and this is a massive synchronicity because it's going to show you your person easier on a more spiritual level. And you're going to be able to know who this person is just by meditating. You can even feel into the energy even before you meet them. You're going to get a lot of downloads about this person before they come in as well. So if you are meditating a lot, it's really going to help you to come into your energy. And there's various different ways of meditation, guys. So um, whatever suits you. And there's a lot of blue as well. So coming very clear with your energy. And you're going to be manifesting someone who's very spiritual as well. Someone who's very grounded, very genuine, and is just ready for this relationship to come in. Okay. So let's have a look at the other ones. I feel like this person could be representing by the owl, like someone who's wise. Um, we also have new pathways. Consider whether you're happy on your current path. We then have Starling. This is the uh, feather we have here. Very beautiful. Now is the time to get out into the world and connect in authentic ways. This person's going to be very authentic, very gentle and very kind of like feisty. So a lot of fire energy as well. We have Chiron, Jupiter and North Node. So a lot to do with massive change. It's funny how we have Chiron healing with an eyeball here. We have the eye here. And we also have the eye on there as well. So there's definitely a lot of deep and depth to this person. So you're going to feel like you've gone through a massive transformation. You could actually meet this person while you're in transformation. But you can meet them after your transformation as well. So it's going to be obviously different for everybody. I'm really, this is extremely random. But I'm picking up on Noddy, the TV show, like from when I was younger. I'm 23, so it's not too long ago. But it is a, it's a bit of a weird show. I think it might be a British show. So for some reason, that's going to be a synchronicity for some of you guys. You could be having a red and yellow car because that's what uh, this, uh, that's what the person in the character in the TV show had. Um, look out for starlings and antelopes as well. Things are galloping towards you with this antelope and there's definitely new pathways opening up for you. Um, you're going to feel much more lighter and you're going to be probably going on a new path when you meet this person. So you could be working on um, like a new pathway. So you could be starting a new career. You could be doing something that's much more suited for you. Um, but you're generally just very at peace. So I feel like you're going to be very at peace when you meet this person. It's definitely to do with your destiny though. Because we have expansion and destiny. So most likely for a lot of you guys, you're going to be in this healing mode. Where a lot of you guys are probably very confused right now. You're like, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. What the hell? Like, where am I going? Your person's going to come in when you start your life path or when you go to war. And everyone has a different life path and we have different life paths at different times. But I feel like for you guys, you're going to manifest your new life path when this person comes in and vice versa as well. So basically, you're going to be debating, is this path that I'm on the right thing for me? And then you're going to manifest something that's much more better for you as well. Look out for somebody who has like quite... Um, big boots as well so like um, like Dr Martin type thing I feel like you're going to be manifesting someone who wears that sort of thing they like to be quite um, well dressed as well so let's see what else we have here so another sign we have somebody who's quite confident we have a Leo son who in the fourth house so somebody who's going to most likely be um, living uh, going to be moving in with this person somebody who's very nurturing and caring and they've gone through a lot of healing to do with their family so you're going to have that in common, I feel. And um, this person's just very open about how they really feel. So you're going to not gonna have any secrets, I feel. It's going to be a very genuine, authentic, open relationship. And another um, synchronicity is you're most likely going to be moving home or you're going to be um, shifting your perspective on your home in some way. Um, but yeah, I mean, the uh, Leo rules the fifth house and that's about romance. It's about creativity. So you're probably going to be feeling really creative as well before you meet this person. Wow, I love I love this card. Every time this card comes up, I'm always like super, super happy. I just love this card so much. So we have the card of happy, happy, and we have exchanging gifts. So this person could be giving you a gift. You could be um, in a lot of manifestation to do with money as well. So you're going to be very, very happy when you meet this person. It's going to be very authentic. 
and um, you want to have a deep knowing this person's coming in. I feel like the moon is going to shift your perspective. It's almost like you're you're just connecting with the moon more. So you could be um, a significant moon sign that really connects to the moon, say Cancer moon. Um, you could have Libra moon as well, I'm picking up on as well. Um, and also the colour blue is very significant for this group also. So look out for the uh, colour blue and the colour green. I feel like that's the heart chakra and the throat chakra really opening up. But I really, this kind of reminds me of an eclipse. So I feel like the the recent eclipse could be, have really shifted your emotions or the next eclipse coming could really just shift you and your uh, love life into high gear as well. So what number do you guys need to look out for? Number five, beautiful, that's creativity, that's amazing. So we also have 26 and 27, so there's definitely an element of kind of um, leveling up as well, like new levels, I'm hearing new journey, new new success. So I feel like you're really gonna come into that and um, I feel like you're just genuinely accepting yourself for who you are and that's definitely a massive synchronicity for you guys. That's how you're gonna know that this is the right person and then you're on the right path to your person. So. Obviously it fluctuates though guys, so be very gentle with yourself. I feel like I'm reconnecting with a crystal topaz. I'm pretty sure this could be topaz, but um, I'm reconnecting with topaz as well. So you could be getting a topaz ring when you get engaged. You could be wearing topaz, that sort of thing. Your name could be topaz. <laughs> so thank you so much for uh, watching guys. If you want a private reading, all my information is down below. If you want to like and subscribe, all the information is down below. And also if you would like to uh, look at, check out my jewellery shop, my Etsy shop is uh, linked down below. So thank you so much. I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So let's have a look and see what signs and synchronicities are coming for you in terms of your person. So first card out, we have key of cups upright. So I have something on my finger. That's weird. I thought I had a hair on my finger, but there's nothing there. So maybe you guys, it feels like a ring or something. Something is around my finger. It's not the right hand for an engagement hand. So I don't know, but engagement hand, engagement finger. So first of all, I feel like you guys are manifesting a water sign. You could be a water sign, but you're just manifesting peace and you're becoming much more in peace with your masculine side. Um, there's, and obviously everyone has masculine and feminine energy. So obviously just take it as it resonates. Um, we have this singing bowl here. So you could be, have been purchasing recently a singing bowl. Could be a heart chakra singing bowl as well. But I love this crown that he has, like a, dro a droplet of water. I feel like there's something there that's just very, very synchronistic and um, significant. So just keep that in mind. Water is very purifying. So I feel like you're going to feel very pure when you meet this person. You're going to feel like you're ready to start something new. You're going to be just very, very ready. Alrighty, so what card do I want? Let's go with this one. So we have Kundalini Rising, channel your creative passion and sensuality, welcome the transformation. So massive amount of emotional transformation here, massive amount of bringing in that strong energy. And we also have Shiva. And Shiva is a very strong deity. She's really, really powerful. Um, so I'm gonna have a look at her in the book as well, to see if I don't miss anything. So Kundalini Rising also is just about you um, just shedding your old skin and um, bringing in that new energy that you, that you deserve, you know, and understanding that you deserve all this beautiful energy and this beautiful person to come in and acknowledging that you feel that acknowledging that you deserve all this and you should really kind of um believe that you know because you do you do you do deserve it so shiva is the number one two three so one two three is obviously um accelerating so i do feel like you're leveling up i feel like you're going to feel like on a different i feel like you feel a feel 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 um i feel like you're going to feel much more at peace with yourself because you're leveling up you're really increasing your confidence you're increasing your um just the way you see yourself you're leveling up in a way where you can really do more things that you haven't possibly been able to do in the past because of self-doubt because of lack of self-confidence and this shiva energy is yeah i knew it was about destruction I, I did think that so it's funny how we got the shiva who is about the god of destruction and rebirth. Oh, it's a male. I thought this was a female. Okay, never mind. But this this individual here is the element of destruction and rebirth. And this snake is also about destruction and rebirth. So massive amounts of clearing. You could be clearing out a Scorpio or manifesting a Scorpio or want to manifest a Scorpio. So this is showing that you are uh, moving past the limitations of your society, body, 
or mind or ego. You've been doing the inner work and it's calling you to be of service to teach others. So your person could be a teacher. You could be a teacher in different ways and or in the same way. And this is also telling you to you, you that you'll probably change a habit or you'll change like a hobby or lifestyle when you meet this person. So it could be a massive major life change. It could be a small one, but even small ones could be big for you. You know, it, it depends on who you are as well. I'm really concentrating on my candles. They're really flicking. Like sometimes they do that. Oops. Sometimes they do that when I'm, I'm connected with a certain like energy. So sometimes they really flicker. Um, I've noticed that it's quite interesting. So I feel like you're being your fire is being fueled and you're really just opening yourself up to new opportunities and you're taking them as well. Like you're letting yourself take them. I'm getting the image of um, the scene from Finding Nemo where Dala, I don't know if you if you guys have seen uh, Finding Nemo, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, it's basically like a character and she's a bit messed up. <laughs> um, she kind of like gets fish in like those like plastic bags and like shakes them. That's basically what's going on with you. Like you're being shook, like you're shaken by the, you're being shook by the universe and you're basically getting a brand new perspective and possibly things are, um, being removed from you because of this person coming in like you need to let this let all this crap go that no longer no longer serves you Alrighty, so next we have i'm pretty sure this is a swan oh no chickadee oh chickadee that's cute the time is right to release old patterns okay and energies you are ready to embrace change yes queen yes queen okay we have aquarius we have opposition balance and we also have Gemini. So really coming into balance with both sides of you, the masculine and the feminine. Learning to assert yourself and learning to know that your opinions matter as much as anyone else's. And you're really pointing in the direction of just going forward. So a massive synchronicity is going to be that you're going to be in a massive change. So you're most likely going to have be, be for a massive transformation before you meet this person. So if you're currently going for a transformation or you've gone for a transformation, get ready for your person because they're coming in soon. And then we have Aquarius. So you'll learn to be much more um, uh, unique within your perspective. Like you see things from yourself, not from other people. Like you're not bending for society and you are very independent. And you're most likely going to be part of a group when you meet this person. They could be part of your group or like a, like a Facebook group or something. But Aquarius is a very free thinkers. Like they're people who don't let anyone kind of get under their skin. So uh, yeah, I do feel like you're definitely uh, manifesting a very nice balance between your masculine and your feminine, learning to really assert yourself and um, becoming a very nice humanitarian. I feel like really, obviously, I feel like you are that already, but you're becoming much more confident with wanting to help people and, and really confident within your abilities to do that as well. So let's see what else we have. All right, we have... Leo, Neptune in the fourth house. Leo is, is quite similar to group number two, actually. Um, very much to do with your balancing your home and really enjoying your home. So you're most likely going to be moving in with this person. You could be changing up your home. The way you think about your home and the way you feel about your home could change as well. Um, and I feel like you're, um, you could be around a Pisces as well and wanting to manifest a Pisces. Neptune rules Pisces. Um, I do feel like the... Um, the I don't know what his name is the god of the sea who has like a, that um the fork of like net is it oh Neptune duh <laughs> is, it, is it Neptune Neptune the um oh I don't know what it's called but basically that that god of the sea is it no is it Zeus not Zeus no he's he has the fire bolts uh or the lightning bolts I can't remember what the person is I think he was in Spongebob. <laughs> but it's definitely something to do with water around you guys and fish. So I really feel like you guys probably manifesting a Pisces, I think. Um, but it's definitely something to do with that energy of that um, god that I'm thinking of as well. That um, mythical being. I can't remember what his name is. Is it King Neptune? I'm pretty sure. But anyway, that's what I'm picking up on. So number two, duality. Becoming balanced with both sides of you. And also uh, manifesting lovely balanced relationships. So... Mass, massive amount of balance here guys wow that is so accurate <laughs> oh my god yes removing any stagnation that you feel around your home around yourself around how people have treated you you're just growing out of that you're growing out of the destruction and you are blooming your you are blooming by yourself and you're blooming beautiful <laughs> um 
I feel like number five is very strong for you. Oh, we have new life. Yes, queen. I love that. So um, beautiful energy. And um, we have number 46 as well. And four and six is 10, which is completion. And we have number five. So you guys are really moving out of feeling restricted and you're no longer being tied to anyone who doesn't serve you. You're letting go of the past. And I feel that's absolutely beautiful. So those are the signs and synchronicities for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want a private reading, all my information is down below. If you would like to um, purchase anything from my Etsy store, my crystal and jewelry shop, all the information is down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your reading. So this is going to be the signs and synchronicities that you're going to see when you meet your person. So uh, group number four, let's get started. So first card out is the 10 of wands. Beautiful. So you're ready to let go. You have been ready for quite a while and you've been really on a very long journey, I feel. Things have been quite hard for you. I don't actually think I've ever had this card before. Not too many times, actually. So you're a very rare being, you're very unique and you've probably had quite a hard life, I feel. Um, but you're definitely manifesting somebody who really suits you. This could be a Taurus as well. Um, but you guys have really been through a lot. So just be really kind to yourself and know that you are on the right path. But you're literally ready to, for, for your new start. You're literally right, ripe and ready for your new person to come in. So that's going to be a massive synchronicity for you. We also have the sun. Beautiful. So massive amount of strong energy feeling really, really positive. That's pretty much what's happening after the sun. So let's, actually no, I'm not gonna swap them around because they're saying keep it as it is. Um, but I feel like you guys are wearing things that you feel good in as well. I feel like you're doing more things for yourself. Like you're really manifesting some beautiful energy here. I just need to close my blind. Um, and I feel like you're just really manifesting some beautiful energy for you guys. Um, this feels very, very positive and the sun card's making me feel like you're really embracing who you are. Like you're not letting anyone step on you or tell you who you are. You're just being yourself. And the sun card is also telling me that you're dressing like you want to. You're leaving your hair natural. You know, you're doing all those things that just, you're just being your complete and utter self, which is so, so positive. And I love it. I love it. So next card out is... Pavati, reverse, no, upright, okie dokie. I love this card, that is so pretty. I don't actually think I've ever had this card before. So let's have a look in the book for this one. So this is about duality, I feel. This is about kind of both sides of you coming together in union. Like you're really starting to understand yourself. And I'm sorry if I sniffed, I have quite bad hay fever at the moment. So, uh, Pavati, 95. So 95 could also be a significant number for you as well. Um, but you're ready to let go. I feel like you've been seeing rainbows as well, but look out for rainbows too. Oh, I love this. Goddess of devotion, love, and yoga. You pull upon Pavati when you have taken immense action towards becoming your highest self. Yes, I definitely feel that for you guys. In Hindu mythology, Pavati was in love with unattainable Shiva, who was deep in the mountains practicing yoga and detached from the material world. She knew he needed the feminine to bring him down to earth, but he was totally inaccessible instead of begging and pleading Pavati decided to become her highest self oh I love this so much power um and seek enlightenment through yoga her family objected saying women cannot be yogis but she headed to the mountains anyway where she stood in a frigid stream balancing on one leg for unco uncountable months or years eventually Shiva felt her immense energy and fell in love with her because of her strength and determination Pavati represents commitment to practice, unbreakable willpower, and the power of self-transformation. Continue your journey towards enlightenment. So the I'm going to read a tiny bit of the reverse just in case this is resonating for you guys. So like a body with no spinal cord, you may have lost your grounding and become loose, floating in every direction. What is it that you are committed to? A person with no commitments is like a wave of no direction. Um, it also says... Spiritual development is a journey that unfolds only when you begin to walk the path. Recommit yourself to your daily asana and meditation practice for 30 days and watch your life slowly rebuild its spinal cord. I feel like what really, what really, I was, hmm, words, Mercury retrograde. What I was really picking up on for this group is that card of Pavati. I feel like the fact that she um, was kind of waiting for her person and it's basically not not letting anyone... In. Okay, what's the word? What, what are you saying, universe? 
So not accepting less than what you deserve, basically, and not waiting around for people who don't serve you. Really, you're really committed to yourself. You're really committed to your path. And I feel like the color pink is really important for you guys. It's definitely about self-development, self-acknowledgement, and that beautiful purity that you have within you is just really shining. Like you don't give a flying F about people who don't serve you. I really feel like you guys are on the right path. So um, I feel like you're, it's almost like you're letting go of the baggage and now you're really, really happy. Wow, that is a massive, big energy for you guys. Wow, big, big message for you. Uh, it's almost, almost like you don't need it anymore. You, I'm hearing, I don't need to carry all these bags. Why do I need them? It's almost like you're just carrying trash around with you. And you're like, I don't need that anymore. So some of you guys could be in that energy or you could be already in the sun energy where you're just embracing who you are and you're just like, do you know what? I don't care. And that's going to be a massive synchronicity when your person comes in. So whatever, you, whatever energy you are, I feel like the main message here is basically you're just embracing yourself and that's going to be when your person comes in is when you're really just connecting to who you are and your authenticity. Next card out, Peacock, perfect, yep, self-love. Time to celebrate you in all your magnificent light. Exactly, really acknowledging who you are. Funnily enough, we actually had the Peacock card at the start, which is quite interesting. So a lot of you guys are definitely practicing self-love and letting yourself be seen, letting yourself do what you're really passionate about and not putting yourself in the back burner. Okay, is this the dove or is this a swan or neither? Oh, the white eagle, okay, wow beautiful okay the connection to divine guidance is within you i love that wow i feel like if you're feeling a little bit lost you will be guided you will be guided and your person is going to be guided towards you the white eagle is extremely powerful so you're going to feel very very powerful you could be also from america i also see that i always see an eagle as american like the american is the american flag something to do with america um but i don't it might not be a white eagle but i do feel like that's very much to do with the american um, symbolism so we then have the Sagittarius which is to do with kind of like flight and travel so that's definitely to do with this group I feel we then have Mercury and we also have Mars so you're definitely becoming much more assertive with your communication you're wanting to possibly travel your person could be a Sag they could want to travel as well but the massive synchronicity I feel like you're going to have is there's going to be this somebody coming in who's probably had quite a lot of travel so there's going to be somebody who's traveled a lot who's gone on quite a long path and they've probably and they're saying they've definitely gone through a lot they've gone through a lot of dark depressing times and they're really coming out of that same for you as well and you're meeting your you're meeting your match you're meeting somebody who's very very similar to you and they have a very genuine energy to them and they're all about this action orientated. They're very passionate about their life. They're very passionate about what they do. And the more passionate you are, the more you're gonna manifest this person coming in, okay? So let's have a look and see what else wants to come through. Wow, that was quick. Do I want these? I don't know if I want these. Do I want these? I don't want these. Nah, let's pull some more. They come out really quickly, okay. Do I want these? I don't know. I'm not I'm not feeling it. Okay. I'm not fully feeling it. Okay, we're meant to have that card then. Alrighty. So unfinished symphony in the reverse. Perfect. Endings. We have number 10. So ending an old cycle, moving into a new one. We also have like a little bird as well. So birds are very syn synchronistic for you, so look out for those. Especially like budgies or pigeons, that sort of thing. Very kind of interesting birds that not that are kind of a little bit boring but not you know not all animals all animals some animals could be boring some can't it's just depending on what you think sometimes pigeons find some people find pigeons boring some people find them cute so it just depends so definitely looking out for that energy and you're going to be much more flexible when you meet this person you're going to be able to do more things that you probably weren't able to do possibly because of health reasons or because of your attitude towards life and maybe not because it was anything negative it may have just been you weren't ready and you're definitely going to be co-creating with more people and you're going to be doing things that are probably away from society um probably starting a business that's very like to do with beauty or health um but you're doing something that's really good for the environment i feel i'm really uh yeah absolutely beautiful lots of lots of risk taking i feel so we have aries we have the um, we have Pluto and we have the, the ninth house. So we do have the ninth house here. Do we have the ninth house here? No, we don't have the ninth house. We have Sag. Okay, similar energy. Um, so this is about expansion. This is a, we also have. I mean, Aries is Mars. You know, it's ruled by Mars. So this is about you coming into your power and 
traveling more you might have much more confidence to travel so this person coming in is really going to be very assertive to you they're going to be known to you like really really easily so let's have a look at what number to look out for yep number one perfect brand new beginnings brand new start we also have 11 here so 11 11 could be very synchronistic for you guys as well i actually want to pull a couple of more tarot for you just because i'm very curious see what else wants to come through in terms of signs Give this a little shuffle, a little shuffle, shuffle. Okay, we have the two of swords, so number two is going to be quite significant. Also, look out for it could be getting a tattoo around when you meet this person as well. Um, but you could uh, they can have a tattoo, or you can have a tattoo. Um, you're going to be working in a group of people probably when you meet this person as well or you could be working with a group and then at the same time as meeting this person so it might not actually be part of the group um yep beautiful massive amount of synchronistic energy here um feeling very happy and comfortable and just working together with people and i feel like you're going to feel like you want to be part of a team more than being isolated you may be a little bit confused on your path but something's going to come in to do with career it's going to change your life i feel and um you can meet this person around your career as well. Could be to do the book or a book signing, book opening, something like that. Um, so thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you want a private reading, all my information is down below. My crystal website's down below as well. If you want to like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number five. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what your signs and synchronicities are for you guys. So first card out is the nine of pentacles reverse. Nope, upright. You guys are going to be a massive synchronicity for you guys is you're going to be recognizing um your power and you're going to be reaping a lot of rewards especially through your financial abundance as well so look out for that and i do feel like there's a lot of energy coming in to do with um just reaping the rewards that you've been wanting so you're probably going to be quite um being do you're probably going to be bleh, i can't speak you're probably going to be doing really well in your business as well. So we then have, ooh, hi, King of Wands. He's sexy. And then we have the Nine of Wands. So you guys are going to be on a really strong journey as well. This, this woman really reminds me of the woman from um, uh, Panther. So I do the pa Black Panther um, from Marvel. So that could be a synchronicity for you guys as well. Definitely gives me very strong uh, African vibes. So very, very tribal energy. This person coming in is very, very strong. He's very, he or she, or they, whoever, whoever you're interested in. This person who you're interested in is just very much, they're very strong, they have very strong opinions. And I feel like the more strong opinions you have, the more fiery you are, I feel like you're gonna manifest someone who's exactly like that. And that's gonna be really beautiful for you. You're breaking barriers. You're definitely breaking down barriers that possibly you've had for quite a long time around you. I'm hearing around your neck you've had a barrier so maybe your throat chakra has been quite stuck and now it's starting to be released and you're starting to release a lot of expectations around yourself and the need for perfection and you're really releasing that okay so we have the owl oh cute your intuition is correct follow your inner wisdom without fail so there's going to be a lot of this person's going to be very wise and i think you're a very wise person as well guys i feel like you guys really need to give yourself more credit and know that you're gonna feel a lot of intuitive hits when this person comes in, so prepare for that as well. We have um, Tantra, a very, very fiery energy. This is very much to do with your sacral chakra. So you're probably gonna be working on your sacral chakra when you meet this person. You're gonna be working on seeing through all your insecurities and balancing out that masculine and the feminine energy. And you're really learning to have patience with your love life as well, and not, not learning to not rush it as well and learning to become much more connected with who you are. And this card is very much to do with your sensual energy. It's how you assert yourself sexually and how you are um, with receiving and giving and receiving. So you're gonna to learn to receive more and, and give more as well, learning to have that balance and learning that you deserve as much love as everyone else and learning to um, become more closer with people and not to have so much of a wall up around there. And you may be someone who observes more than goes quite deep into things, but that's okay. This person's gonna be like that as well. You're both gonna be very, very similar. Okay, 
ask for help, seek support, you are not alone. So I do feel like you guys are, the more you ask for help, the more you're gonna manifest this person because if you feel like you need to be more independent, it, it's gonna almost push away this person. It, there's a kind of a balance between independence and codependency, which is interdependency. It's kind of being independent, but also manifesting your person and being in a, a strong, stable relationship. So I feel like with this, it's working with others to have a common goal. So you're probably gonna meet this person in some sort of group setting or um, some sort of new work endeavor. And I feel like I'm, I'm seeing like a boss, you're talking to a boss and um, they're giving you some sort of opportunity and you're a bit stubborn about it. You're like, oh, I don't really need that. I don't really want that. But then you do it. And then that's when you meet your person. And it's very, very interesting. I love that. So we have Night House, which is interesting because that came out in the last group. And then we also have Try and Flow. So you guys are really, really learning to just take it slow. And things might heat up and things might get stressful for you, but knowing that when, when things start to flow more in terms of travel or moving house and things like that, that's when this person's gonna start to come in because there's almost like just a door. I'm hearing like cracking of like an egg, like an egg cracking, like new beginnings, birthing, and the number nine could be very significant for you as well. So the ninth house also rules religion, it results, re it rules journalism, customs, higher education. So your high, your education could be changing. You could meet this person through a university, uh, college, any sort of higher education. And we also have 444 on the uh, camera as well. So look out for four. Four is a very significant energy. I definitely feel like you're connecting with your higher energy. You're connecting with um, your spiritual realm. So you're becoming more able to connect and become much more in flow with that and not to push it away and know that there is magic in synchronicities and there always is. Just look out for those synchronicities and they will be there for you. I feel like a circle is very significant for you for some reason, like a disc or a coin. There's something there about a circle or a sphere. So look out for that and also fire as well. You could be a fire sign watching this reading as well. So let's get a, another card. I definitely feel that you're gonna be working with this person. I'm seeing you backpacking Europe with this person um, or in like a singles group traveling and then that's how you meet them. So obviously it's gonna be different for everyone and um, you may have already met this person as well for some of you guys, especially if you met this person traveling, you may have already met this person. Mary do be speaking to them and that could be a synchronicity as well. Look out for geckos and um, cold blooded animals as well. So like reptilian type animals, they're a quite a big synchronicity and I feel like I'm picturing the reptilian um, animal from Spider-Man, um, the amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield. There's like an evil scientist and he turns into um, like a, um, a reptilian. Oh look, a circle, um, a reptilian because um, he wants to be, he wants to be able to regenerate his limbs. So it's something about regeneration and um, not pushing things like cause his character like pushed it and then he turned really evil and all that stuff. So it's learning to not push things. Okay, so you may feel quite unhappy with your love life, but when this person comes in, they're gonna really build with a relationship with you. You may be building something when you meet them in various different ways. And then we have round and round. So you may actually feel like you're going round in a circle, but it's not. It's basically, it's teaching you to, it's basically the universe is asking, what have you learned? And it's teaching you to react differently to this new situation and imagine new possibilities coming in for you because they are. And know that you can have what you want and you can have what you desire. And the number five is very significant for you guys. Um, and orphaned is also showing me that you could have, have abandonment issues, you could have attachment issues, but that's okay. You're learning to let go of that. And when this person comes in, you're gonna be very, I feel like interdependent, a very healthy interdependency. I'm feeling a very big synchronicity coming in. I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling it. It feels very strong. I'm feeling like very rooted and grounded in sacral chakra. So you could be meeting a Virgo. Um, we have the third house here as well, which is the mind, it's communication. It's um, what your interests are, like social activities, neighbors, education. So with this being in Virgo, it's very organized. So you could be wanting to be an organizer. You could be doing a hobby or a something to do with the mind and, th and communication. So you could have um, Virgo in your third house. You could have Virgo Mercury as well. This person could also have that too. Um, but I feel like it's interesting because he's wearing a triangle, which is upright. And we have a triangle that's upright on here. So shapes could be very, very big, a very big synchronicity for you guys. So can you see that he has like a tiny little triangle there? 
and there's a triangle there which is so cool so it's like water and fire coming together so you could be a water sign um manifesting a fire sign or it could be the opposite way around you could be a fire sign manifesting a water sign so i'm picking up this card deck again so we're going to get another card because i don't know why i'm doing that but my hands just went there so i'm going to go with it yep you really feel very peaceful when you meet this person things are just going to absolutely flow so freaking well and i feel like you're going to be trining with this person's birth chart i feel there's going to be like a really nice flow with this person probably going to give you a lot of gifts as well we have loyal heart they're very loyal you're going to feel like you're able to feel safe with this person and able to feel loyal towards them we have breathe as well feeling very peaceful with this person and you're no longer going to be undecided about where you're going you're going to feel feel very much at ease so what's the number to look out for for you guys number three yep third house creativity speech um the mind so you could have the third house um it could be something significant in your third house um, you could also have like North Node to do with Gemini or something. It could be to do with like really speaking your truth. I'm feeling the solar system is very syn synchronistic. This person is very synchronistic with this um, group because we also have a swirl as well. And we have that with round and round. So there's definitely something that's very, very significant and big with this person. Like you're going to get so many synchronicities with this person when you meet them. So you're definitely cooking up something as well. This person could be a cook. You could be a cook. I feel like this person is just really cooking up something. You could be doing something to do with flowers, botanicals I'm hearing, um, herbs, batch flower remedies, that sort of thing. So thank you so much for uh, watching as well. Also guys, look out for flowers. Like I feel like you're gonna have flowers around your house or you're decorating your house with flowers. And I'm seeing a wedding, like a white wedding with a flower, like you might be wearing a flower crown, very bohemian. Um, my, my, some of you may also be getting married in the church as well or, or on the beach. So. Hawaii is also coming through and London. I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you want a private reading, all my information is down below. I have my Etsy shop down below as well. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. And if you want to thumbs up, please do as well if you like this video. Thank you so, so much for being here. I love you guys so much and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.